Well, state officials felt the need to provide more clarification today regarding the regulations on face masks inside businesses in our state. Two News reporter Kristen Eskow is live in Sugar Creek Township after speaking with a business owner there. Yeah, Mark, the owner of this wine inns and three others tells me he's had his employees wearing masks and gloves for some time now, even before that order was issued, both to ensure cleanliness and help customers feel safe while coming here. Now, earlier today, the lieutenant governor said he and state officials are working best they can to make this mask order fair to everyone. And earlier today, he laid out some exceptions for some workers. The first time you put one on, you just feel a little weird. You feel like, especially when you're in the friendly business or you know, selling coffee with a smile and all of a sudden you just you just don't feel friendly. So it's definitely something that takes a little bit of getting used to. Ben Saika um, says yeah, even though it's weird wearing a mask at work, he believes it's the right thing to do. He owns four local wine ins locations and tells me he has plenty of masks and gloves at all of his stores for his employees. We're just making sure that, that people are um, being cognizant of how close they are to other employees, um, wearing masks whenever possible and wearing their gloves uh, pretty much all the time. Lieutenant Governor John Husted clarified Wednesday that although face coverings are not required for customers, they're mandatory for workers in all industries, with some exceptions. Those include times it's against the law, best practices, or safety policies for your company or industry. Exceptions can also be made for health reasons, if you're working alone in an enclosed space, or if it's not practical to wear a mask. What our goal has always been is to be firm in that we know that we protect each other when we wear these masks. But we also want to be reasonable. Although some businesses are requiring customers to wear masks on their own, Saika tells me he's not sure yet if his coffee and chocolate shops will eventually add that requirement. For now, he says many people have done a good job with social distancing, and his workers will continue taking the same precautions. Obviously, it just sounds like this thing is going away for a while, so it's just something we gotta, we got to get used to doing. And the lieutenant governor says if your business or any of your employees fall under any of the exceptions laid out today, you must be able to provide written notice if you're asked for it, explaining why. We're live tonight in Sugar Creek Township. Kristen Escal, 2 News, working for you.